Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a place where I post video tutorials on intermediate microeconomics. Sometimes I use calculus, sometimes I don't. If I can get away with not using calculus and doing a topic justice, I will, because that is in the spirit of this channel. This channel is called Intromediate Econ. The goal is to pre present intermediate microeconomics without the need for some kind of introduction. I, I don't assume that you know uh, co concepts or topics from, from a previous course because I, I'm thinking that this is your course. And to the extent that I can help you understand microeconomics, that makes my, my whole project worthwhile. The intermediate microeconomics need not be intimidating. If, uh, if you're a hardworking individual who knows a little bit of high school algebra and a touch of calculus, you can dive right into intermediate micro and get really the gist of what microeconomics is all about. By no means does this intro mean that I'm dumbing intermediate down. This, this channel offers the same concepts as intermediate micro, just done efficiently. You may know a little bit about microeconomics, but you might not have a sense for what intermediate microeconomics is. I think the best thing to do is to show you by example what, what types of videos do we have here. I have these videos organized by various playlists. You should think of this playlist as basically everything that you can do with supply and demand. I introduce supply and demand, um, moving and shifting a demand curve. I show some of the algebra of supply and demand. I introduce tax wedges. There's uh, consumer surplus, producer surplus. I introduce externalities. Um, and I also talk a bit about the Coase theorem under this whole set of videos. The second playlist on this channel is my playlist on consumer theory. It's and I show you everything that you can do with indifference curves and budget constraints. I talk about marginal rates of substitution, talk about utility maximization, and I try to do that without calculus, as well as some videos that actually have some calculus. It has a whole set of videos on um, income and substitution effects, on deriving demand curves, uh, I keep adding videos here because I really, really love consumer theory. And if you go through all these videos, you'll see why I love consumer theory so much. I also have a couple of playlists on competition and producer theory. Here I introduce uh, how, to get, uh, how to get cost curves from, uh, from the idea of production and how to think about the producer's decision when um, he's a small producer in a big pond. Um, you can... You can go ahead and look at the standard classical uh, competition model. Um, it's the model of perfect competition that's taught in really any introduction or even intermediate micro course. And it'll give you a sense for how economists think about production as a first pass. I also have a playlist on imperfect competition and pricing. Here I introduce uh, a monopoly, how we think about monopoly from the perspective of of microeconomics. I also introduce I also introduce different ways of, uh, of pricing that monopolies can use. I introduce oligopolies, so you have a couple of firms that are competing with one another. Um, and this this is really an interesting area of economics, and it's it's a uh, it's usually an extension in in sort of the introduction to intermediate courses. Uh, it's something that you dive into in industrial organization as well. Um, so you might find those videos useful. Um, one of my specialties is industrial organization, so in the future I might actually add and supplement this with, with some of the insights of industrial organization as well. And one of my newer playlists is a playlist on general equilibrium. Here I, I introduce the idea of an endowment economy. I talk about the idea of Pareto efficiency. I talk about how you can uh, think about utility maximizing consumers and their budget constraints when you, they start with a bundle of goods and then just are asked to trade in the economy. My plan is to extend this playlist a bit more uh, to talk about welfare theorems. Those aren't in there as of this juncture, but in the future I plan to post some more videos on this topic. There are three ways that I think you can make the most out of this channel. Now, the first tool is to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you subscribe to this channel, you will get updates about newer videos that I'm posting. I'm no longer going linearly through microeconomics. I'm, I'm trying to fill in some of the gaps that, that I left in, the, in my various playlists to make this a more comprehensive 
and useful economic study resource. Now the second tool that I think is quite useful is you can see that down in the comments on this, on this video or in the description of the video I have a link to the video website. One thing about YouTube is that it's very difficult to organize units in the same way that you would organize a course. Go to that video website and you'll see links to all the videos. So you'll, you'll see where the video fits into microeconomics as a whole. also makes it a lot easier to search. That ought to be a good tool to, uh, to organize your, uh, your search through my channel. And the final tool is that I've written a book that covers a lot of the topics that are on this channel. This, this book is called Intermediate Microeconomics. So the book has a lot, of, a, a lot of exercises for you to work through. A lot of them are really basic, but sometimes taken for granted with typical textbooks. So uh, if, if you check this book out, um, you'll, you'll see that I have a lot of uh, really basic exercises, but then they go from basic to more conceptual to eventually what you would see in an intermediate micro textbook. The strength of the book is also that I have solutions that are quite detailed, um, and if, if you go and pick up the, the book that has the solutions to selected exercises included, the electronic form is only $20, and if you want it in paper form, that's only $30. So uh, compare that to uh, many of the leading textbooks, which run over $150, and that can be quite a good deal. Plus. It's integrated pretty well with the videos that I post on this website, and you can see that if it's not in the book, I, I actually supplement it in a nice way to get you from intermediate to intermediate with the calculus videos on this website. Um, so if you use these three tools, and you can get the most out of this channel. Now I have a couple of final notes about the channel. At around video 20, I switched to using a tripod, very much like this video here, and using jump cuts, just like this video, uh, to skip over sort of unnecessary or boring material. Uh, the earlier videos uh, used a mix of jump cuts and uh, non-tripod filming. There are a couple of videos where this, this affects the exposition, but for the most part, um, most of those early videos were, uh, were really unaffected by the uh, sort of old school videography that, that we were using. Sort of newer school videography makes it more efficient, um, makes it so you, you might actually have to pause a little bit. Um, so that's, that's sort of the, the other thing that I want to point out is that if you're going through a video and I use jump cuts to go through it quickly, I'm doing that to, to save time for people who don't need the algebra. Not doing that to lose people who do need to sort of work through the algebra. Uh, I try to go through all of the algebraic steps, but then I clean the board up and the algebra goes away. I want this to be useful for a variety of types of individuals who are coming out to learn microeconomics. If, uh, if, you, need to, if you need extra time to work through the algebra while I'm talking, uh, YouTube has a pause button, but it doesn't have a fast forward button. Um, so I cater to the individuals who need to be able to fast forward and get it efficiently and quickly uh, without uh, bogging down in the algebra. That's one of the strengths of my channel is I can skip over a lot of the algebra that makes economics unintelligible. I can, I can highlight the concepts without, uh, without making the algebra feel overly burdensome. At the same time, if you want to learn to work through the algebra of microeconomics, you'll need to spend a little extra time with the videos. That's that's just taking my videos as given, um, and that's that's really the best way to use the videos is to use them as as a resource. They they are what they are at this point, and and uh, they're going to be more. And hopefully, these videos will be useful to you and will enhance and maybe even inspire uh, some of your study of microeconomics.